one of my subscriber has requested me to make a template powerpoint template on serial dilution well i'm not a student of microbiology and i have no idea what serial dilution is and i did some research and i found out okay this is what the serial dilution means and with that information i able to do this powerpoint slide as you can see here i have uh, put five uh, test tubes uh, one, two, three, four, and five, and I've named them A, B, C, D, E. And then I have taken some stock solution, or you can say a soil sample. And then when I click, it is all animated. I did all animated. So when I click, first we are going to fill all these five test tubes with a normal saline of nine ml. You can see here I've added nine ml. Then I'm going to take 1 ml of stock solution and I'm going to put into the uh, the first test tube which is uh, A. For example, when I click, I'm using the this particular uh, sucker or injection or whatever you call it and I'm going to put it in the test tube A. You can see here, I'm just putting it down and this becomes a 10 ml so which is the one tenth of dilution or 0.1 or 10 to the power of minus 1 dilution the next step i'm going to take the sample of uh, this uh, from test tube a 1 ml and i'm going to put in test tube b so when i click again you can see here it goes and when i click I'm going to put in the test tube B and this also becomes 10 ml and this is 10 to the power of minus 2 dilution. The same process I'm going to continue again from B. I'm going to put into C and you can see the color also it was more blue and it comes more a lighter color to differentiate that the how the serial dilution works or more of some kind of a bacteria which we want to reduce it. So again, I'm going to put from C to D. This also becomes 10 ml or 10 to the power of minus 4. And then last, I'm going to use from 4 to 5, the test tube 5. When I click, you can see here, this also becomes 10 ml or 10 to the power of minus 5 dilution. So, uh, uh, my apologies, uh, friends, if my explanation, I know I'm not a science student, please accept my apologies. My explanation is not that good because I'm not a science student. This is for, just for the students. I have created this slide for them to, or this can be used by the professors to explain their students how the serial dilution works. So, thank you very much. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.